Hungary is located in Central Europe. But unlike many European countries, surnames come first, just like in China. That is just one of the unexpected connections between the two countries. Today, let's go to the Hungarian Cultural Center in Beijing to find some more. Located in the heart of Beijing, the Cultural Center is in a building complex incorporating Western and Eastern designs. One of the staff says it shows the unique position of Hungary as a gateway between the East and the West. The Cultural Center is named after the famous composer and musician Franz Liszt. The name indicates one of the key missions of the center, to spread Hungarian culture through music. The center trains teachers with the Kodali method, a music education system developed by Hungary, to help Chinese kids, especially those in rural areas, embrace the beauty of art. My attention is caught by these pieces of porcelain. The staff member says they are from the town of Herend. He says Hungary's long-standing tradition of producing top-notch porcelain started from Europe's interest in Chinese porcelain in the 18th century, when porcelain was also called China. Back then, Hungary was a major stop along the Silk Road. He pulls out a bottle of Tokai wine, one of Hungary's main exports to China. He says the China-Europe Railway Express is a big factor in its popularity here. I also spot a dulcimer. Hungary calls it Symbolum, and China calls it Yangqing. Both trace their roots back to Persia. In March, the Culture Center hosted a concert featuring these instruments played by musicians from China and Hungary to celebrate 75 years of diplomatic ties. 75 years ago, Hungary was one of the first countries to recognize the People's Republic of China less than a week after it was founded. It was also one of the first European countries to sign on to the Belt and Road Initiative. One of the key projects is the Kapuspar Solar Power Plant. It was built by China National Machinery Import and Export Corporation, a leading Chinese international engineering contractor. It's one of the largest photovoltaic power stations in the country, creating a ground-based sea of blue. Hungary hopes similar solar power plants will help it become carbon neutral by 2050. The country's well-established automotive industry attracts Chinese electric vehicles makers like BYD to build factories there. Other Chinese EV players like battery giant CATL and Neo Power have also landed projects. Now back to the cultural exchanges. In 2004, the Hungarian Chinese Bilingual School was founded in Budapest. It's the only full-time school in Central and Eastern Europe that teaches in Chinese and the local language. Luckily, I don't need any language to enjoy music. I wrap up my day with one of Franz Liszt's great works, Hungarian Rhapsody.